Unsupplies Vitality, uh, Junior Anatomy Playlist continuing, or starting, I guess, since this be, um, actually, I don't know what order you're going to watch them in. So anyway, here's the video. Uh, we're going to talk about movement today. So movement was one of the, the things that, that living organisms do, and we're humans, and we move around, obviously. We move in a unique way than other animals in that we stand on two feet. Most animals run around on uh, four legs or crawl or swim. Uh, some of them stand on two feet like birds, but they fly, so that's a little different. And birds don't walk very smooth like we do or run. Uh, they just sort of hop. So uh, movement consists of three big parts, really. Uh, our bones, our muscles, and our joints, the little parts where the, the bones come together, all of the spots that you can move. For instance, on my forearm, I can't move uh, in the middle between my wrist and elbow. I can't bend or move that part because it has these really rigid, um, solid structures called bones inside there. If you've ever eaten a chicken leg um, or some steak or ham, and you see sometimes there's a bone in that, like sometimes you have a, right, a steak, and in the middle of the steak, there's a bone, right? like that, like a T-bone steak, or sometimes you get a piece of ham with your breakfast and there's a little round bone in the corner, okay? Uh, chicken leg has a bone sticking out and then it's got a bunch of meat up on the top that you eat called a drumstick, all right? That's got the little bone part you hold on to. So we have these bones uh, in, in a human being or related to the animals. Like your T-bone steak would be, that bone in there is part of your uh, shoulder blade, your scapula. The chicken leg is the same as your leg. Uh, the drumstick is from the knee down to the ankle, right? And then uh, this ham bone, that little round bone would be a cut through the thigh where you have that little round piece of bone, right? So we'll talk about bones and how they grow and how many you have and uh, muscles. Uh, these are the soft, squishy parts that you can feel that are attached to the bones. If you feel, if you grab your wrist or your, your forearm near your wrist, the bendy part by your hand, and squeeze and feel, you can feel the bone. And if you run your fingers and press in, you can feel the bone runs all the way down to your elbow. That bone is called your ulna, right? Ulna. And it runs all the way from your wrist to your elbow and you can feel the whole thing. On the other side, on the thumb side, you can feel another bone. And that one, though, as you go up about halfway up, it starts to disappear under the soft, squishy muscle, and you can't feel it all the way up to the elbow. That's called the radius. Your hand bones are easy to feel in your finger, and if you squeeze your hand, you can feel the bones in there. The wrist is made up of a bunch of little bones like pebbles and rocks that you can't quite feel individually. Your skull, you can feel the bones of your skull. All right, that's nice and round. You've got bones in your cheeks. You've got bones in your upper lip, your face, your jaw bone. And you've got pieces of your bones you can see. Your teeth. Your teeth are just pieces of bone that don't have coverings over them. You use those to chew up food. You can feel uh, from your, your shin, you can feel that bone from your knee all the way down to your ankle. Ankle bones, foot bones. The bone of your thigh, that's called a femur, that one was a little difficult to feel because it's surrounded by meat. If you put your hands at your hips where your belt is, you can feel a really odd shaped bone. And that's part of your pelvis and you can feel pieces of that. And then down your back, if you run your fingers down your back, you can feel these little, little sort of knobbies, uh, little protrusions. Those are part of your backbone. So all together, in your body, you have about 200 bones. A little more than 200 bones. Sometimes you'll see books that say you have 206 bones, right? But that doesn't count necessarily your teeth or a few extra bones, because some people have extra bones. In their backbone, uh, it's a stack of blocks. We'll have another video on the vertebra or your backbone, your spine. Some people have extra bones. Some people have fewer bones. Some people have sesamoid bones or more teeth or little um, extra ribs. We'll talk about all that, but about 200. There's a lot of bones, and we'll go over a different video with the names of all those bones. <clears throat> so, uh, 200 bones, and then all of the muscles stuck on your body, 
that stick to your bones, you really only have one big muscle. It's just divided up into little parts um, that you name, like the one that's attached to my, my forearm and up to my shoulder across the front of my arm is called the biceps. It's called the biceps because it has two heads. Seps or keps means head. And that's the part that attaches. Up here, my bicep splits into like the letter Y. So it attaches down here on my forearm. There's the muscle. And then up here it attaches to my shoulder in two places. So it's got two heads, biceps. On the back of your arm, you have another muscle that straightens your elbow that helps you uh, extend your elbow. This one's called the triceps because it has three heads. All right? hope you can read that. Triceps. All right? Then you have a big muscle on the front of your thigh called the quadriceps. Quadriceps. Figure out how many heads that one has. All right, so of all those muscles, and they're wrapped up in these little discrete compartments, there are over 630 of them. 630 muscles. 634 really, but again, some people have extra muscles that, uh, that you don't have or you have extra muscles. Matter of fact, in the forearm, there's a muscle called the palmaris longus that if you take 10 people and line them up, three people probably won't have that muscle. It's just an extra skinny little muscle that runs all the way down to your wrist and it helps you kind of pucker your palm like when you scoop water up. Not everybody has that muscle. In uh, other animals, like a cat, uh, or uh, an animal that has claws that can extend out, they have a really big palmaris longus because that muscle pulls on the skin of their hand and helps them put their claws out. I don't have claws, therefore my palmaris longus, if I have one, doesn't really do much. But you have 630 of them. We'll do another video and we'll name a bunch of the big muscles with, um, I'll get a helper so I can point the muscles out and maybe draw a picture or show you on a chart and you'll get to learn uh, the names of those muscles. Now, your joints. So we got 200 bones coming up, 600 muscles. And then the joints, the parts where you have all the bendy spots. Everybody has um, a, a great number of joints. They're basically all the same, but you have three kinds of joints. So you have three types, three types of joints. All right, let me get a better marker here for a second. So a joint is actually, a better word for that is articulation. Articulations, uh, articulate. That's where the bones uh, meet and move, meet and move. So we have three basic kinds of joints. You have joints that move a lot. You have joints that move a little. And then you have joints that don't move. They're just where bone, uh, bones come together, but there's no uh, movement or wiggle room in them. So an example of bones that don't move are the bones in your skull, right? So when you're, when you're a baby, your skull is kind of uh, soft and the bones aren't really connected yet. That way uh, it helps with the birth process. But then as you grow, you should know that babies have little soft spots in their head. They have to be very careful, careful with the baby's head because the bones aren't knitted together yet. But as an adult, those bones have knitted all together and they don't move. It makes a nice bony helmet to protect my brain. Okay? They don't move around after a while. Um, some bones that move just a little would be like the bones in my backbone. So the backbone is set up in a way that in between each of the, it's made of 24 blocks of bone and in between each one, there's a little disc or a pad, kind of like a little jelly donut that helps the bones move a little bit, but not a lot. And then joints that do move a lot, um, these are joints like your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, your knee, your hip, your ankle bones, right? Uh, my neck can move a lot, right? And then I have um, little joints between my ribs and my breastbone, right? So when I breathe, it can stretch a little bit, but it doesn't move a, a bunch. It doesn't move like my shoulder. I can swing my shoulder around in a circle, right? 
So we have different types of joints and we're gonna cover those in another video. So this was your overview video for movement. Bones, it's over 200. Muscles, there's over 600. And uh, joints, and there's three kinds and there's dozens and dozens of joints. So check out the next video and we'll go through each one of those uh, piece by piece.